I get started, I want to give a thank you to our sponsor, Penny Card Auctions, who made this video possible. Um, basically, you can click on their website, there's a link in the description, and you can place bids on any of the products that are available on the website, and each time you place a bid, it'll only go up in increments of pennies. So if you look here at the closed auctions, literally some, like this Elite Trainer Box has sold for four cents. So, yeah, go check them out. The day is here. Oh my gosh, guys, this is literally the product that I have been hyping up for so long, the Shining Legends Elite Trainer Box. This is one of the many ways you can get Shining Legends booster packs on your hands. Uh, there is also now the Charizard Premium Collection Boxes, which have been um, releasing early in some places, um, such as Target and Walmart. Um, eventually, we will also be getting the Pin Collection Boxes, which will also feature Shining Legends packs and a bunch of other different um, products. But yeah, as you can see at the top right here, I thought that this was really interesting. I'm going to give you guys a closer view of it. But they've got this like white like background with like Pokemon in it, which is very, very reminiscent of the um, of the Generations of the Trainer Boxes. So that's kind of crazy. But anyways, there's that. Um, let me actually give you guys a view of this inside thing because there is in fact a poster. Um, I don't usually go this slow with the Trainer Boxes, but... This is my first one, okay? And I'm very excited. So we have the Genesect, Mewtwo, Mew, and Rayquaza. Shiny, beautiful, gloriousness. I'm absolutely in love with the Mew, and all of the other ones are just great, too. Here is the player's guide. It's, like, black, and it's, like, classy looking. It's very nice. Um, flip it around. We've got all the different energies. I'm going to quickly show you guys what the set looks like. So if you guys don't like spoilers, I'm warning you now. Close your eyes. Close your ears. Um... Skip ahead a couple minutes, but there is a Raichu GX, which is very cool. We also have shiny Pokemon that are just included in the set. Not as secret rares or anything like that, just in the set. However, they do have an interesting, like, textured hollow pattern. So hopefully we can pull one in today's Elite Trader Box, and I can show it to you guys. Uh, there's also the Entei GX in this set. There's another shiny Pokemon, the shiny Mew. Uh, there's a Mewtwo GX, Zoroark GX. There's the shiny Rayquaza, shiny Jirachi. Um, I might have accidentally missed out on pointing out some of these shiny Pokemon. The point is, there are a lot of them and they're fantastic. We also have beautiful, beautiful full arts, including the Entei, the Mewtwo, Pokemon Breeder, we have Hyper Rares, and then we have the Secret Rare um, Mewtwo GX card, which looks like this. Let me get some focus. Um, so yeah, that's what this set looks like. Um, they don't have cards like the Raichu full art. Um, it was really interesting. Like, for example, the Zoroark we're going to be seeing in a Zoroark collection box. So this set, I think, is actually smaller than the Japanese set. But anyways, that's what the set looks like. There's the set list. Let me go ahead and pull out this Elite Trainer Box. Whoa! First of all, I just wanted to point this out. Look at this. You see how that's not flat. Let me angle the camera down. As you can see, there's like a gap. That's weird. So I guess they have now designed these things so that they're slightly like v so you can pull it off easier. I don't know, but there's that. We've got a nice ho -oh, and then the top it says Shining Legend, and it's beautiful. Okay, here are what these sleeves look like. Very nice black slick sleeves. You can see me waving in the background. What's up, bros? Um, very nice, very nice. Um, but yeah, there's that. And then we have the booster packs. Let me go ahead first give you guys the code card. You're welcome! Shining Legends Elite Trainer Box. It can only be claimed once, though, so type fast. Here are what the dividers look like. So we have ho -oh. These were not cut very well. You can see, like whiteness on them but anyways that's okay we have the ho -oh on one side and oh my gosh look at this it's like a zoomed in zoomed out very cool surprised that they didn't write shining legends on one side but anyways there's that here is the promo oh <gasps> dude this is glorious okay i think i'm gonna open it just so i can show you guys the texture a little bit closer but there is a promo card in these generations or sorry these shining legends elite trainer boxes i feel like i'm gonna call it generations a lot of times in this video I apologize in advance. Okay, so first of all, kind of not ha happy that they packaged them like this because there's already whitening on it, but here's a look at this. We did see this promo in Japanese as well. You can see the texture right there. Very, very awesome. So a lot of the shining cards in this set are going to have this sort of effect to them where the Pokemon itself is um, hollow foil and then like the card looks like just a regular card. So very interesting. Uh, so we're going to set that off to the side right there. Wow, that lighting is just doing backflips. And then we have the packs, which I will set out right here. And then um, very quickly I'm going to just look at, so we got cardboard for a cardboard collection. Okay. Uh, we also have energies. And the weird thing about these energies is they're just randomly thrown in here. They aren't like five of the same ones, which is like what they used to do. 
like I'll just show you really quickly like let's say we pick steel energies like there's chances are we aren't gonna have look there's the second one do we have any more three four so there's only four steel energies in here so that means that you know we probably had like six grass or something weird so they're totally random numbers they're like almost even but not quite okay and then that's everything at the bottom um so here's what the dice look like they're black again these remind me so much of the Generations Elite Trainer Boxes. Here's what the uh, set symbol looks like. Let's try and get some focus action. So there's that. Kind of weird looking. And then we got the GX Marker, Poison and Burn. And here are the glorious booster packs. Let's get them off facing the right way. Okay, so let's just go through the pack arts really quickly so you guys can get a an idea of what they look like. So here is the Rayquaza. We also have the Mewtwo, the Mew, and the Genesect. Oh, dude. Look at that. That is freaking gorgeous. All right, let me angle up the camera just a bit so I can give you guys a nicer view of these cards. Oh, this is glorious. Okay, I'm sorry that I'm taking so long. It's just I really freaking like this set. i um, very excited about it. Obviously, there's Pikachus and Rayquazas. Or, sorry, Pik well, there are Rayquazas. There's Pikachus and Raichus in here, which I'm just absolutely in love with. And we do get, I think, ten. Two, four... Six, yeah, so we get ten packs. Usually in Elite Trainer Boxes, you only get eight packs, so it's already super fancy. Okay, so here's the first pack here. Let's go ahead and get started. Shining Legends. Look at how the hollow pattern's like weird right there. That's awesome. Okay, so there are ten additional game cards. Um, I'm not sure what the pack trick is going to be with these because they might be kind of wonky, but I will give you guys the code cards because I know that not all of you guys maybe didn't have the chance to pick up these early packs, but you can try and claim some of them online. All right, we have a Lipard, Volcarona, Larvesta, Minin. That is so freaking cute. We also have a Breloom, Torocat. Oh, gosh. We skipped the Ekans. Sophocles Reverse, a Palkia Hollow. Okay, so my bad. We do four to the front. So Palkia Hollow is the very first pack. That's freaking gorgeous. Okay, so we'll set that right there. Very nice start. Now we have a Mewtwo pack. And while we're at it, guys, please, in the comments, let me know, what is your favorite pack art? I think mine's going to have to be the uh, Mew, just because I'm, I really like Mew, but um, <laughs> they're all very nice. I'll definitely bring give them that. We have a Scrafty. That background of the card looks really trippy. We got another Minin Torkoal Ivysaur. That is adorable. Zorua versus a Venusaur. And we have a Keldeo Hollow. Very beautiful card. I think this might be my favorite holo card from the set. We are now opening up my favorite pack of the bunch. We have a Mew. Alright, so we have the Water Energy. Carvine, Lily, Venusaur, Quillfish, Litten, Zorua, Ivysaur, Torkoal, Zoro Reverse, and a Raikou Hollow. And guys, in case you haven't picked up on the trend yet, you're guaranteed a holo in every single pack. It's crazy. Just another reason why you absolutely fall in love with this set. Just saying. How can you not love this set, okay? Anyways, uh, here's the Energy, Electrode, Lipard, Double Colorless, Bulbasaur, Stunfisk, a Quillfish, Shroomish, Scraggy, Ekans Reverse, and a Zekrom Hollow. We might be able to complete the entire Hollow set here. <laughs> Actually, I'm not sure how many Hollows are in this set. I don't remember right offhand. Anyways, um, I'm hoping that we pull at least one Ultra Rare. Whoa. Oh, I, at first I thought there was like shiny stuff on the card. It was just a little bit of the booster pack. Anyways, Super Scoop Up, Sophocles, Veraligator, Stunfisk, Plessel, Furloin, Golet, Shroomish, Shroomish Reverse, and a Verizion Hollow. Very nice cards. These Hollows just, they look good. They look really good. I am so incredibly hyped about this set. So much stuff to just be thankful for. Alright, Volcarona, Damage Mover, Spiritomb, Larvesta, Litten, Breloom, Voltorb, Golet. Oh, dude, that looks beautiful. I didn't know they were doing these in this set, but apparently you can pull reverse energies in here. And look, they got the hollow pattern around everything but the actual energy itself. Very nice. Oh! <gasps> no! We just freaking did it! I don't know how rare these are gonna be, but regardless of if they're rare or not, I think they are rare, by the way, but even if they aren't rare, like, this is a freaking gorgeous card. My very first shiny Pokemon is literally my favorite one, the Shining Mew. That's freaking beautiful. Look at that. Do you see this? Do you see the texture on that? 
I don't, it's like almost looks like a hyper rare card, like the foil pattern that they do to it. That's crazy. I absolutely love this set. And we still have four packs to go. Like that was just pack number five. So that was like basically the halfway point. Here, let me go ahead and give you guys a code. Everybody needs to celebrate on that. We just pulled a freaking shiny Mew. That's crazy. Okay. So we have a Fairy Energy, Switch, Warp Energy, Arbok, Ekans, Voltorb, Scraggy, Weasel, Minin, Electrode Reverse. That looks very cool. And a Manaphy Hollow. Carefully set that down. Three packs to go. Man, oh man, oh man. That's, this is, uh, I'm so happy right now. I am so happy. All right, we have the Water Energy, Feraligator, How, Golurk, Zorua, Ekans, Pikachu. Oh my gosh. Guys, I'm happy. We pulled a Pikachu. We pulled the Shining Mew. Like, we pulled everything I could have possibly wanted. How Reverse and a Latios Hollow with a Latios in the back. Because, or sorry, Latios Hollow with a Latios in the back. That's a tongue twister right there. All right, two packs left. Shiny Rayquaza and a Shiny Mewtwo. Okay, let's see. So we have the Darkness Energy. We have a Scrafty with the trippy background. Energy Retrieval, Floatzel, Croconaw, Golit, Bulbasaur, Totodile, another Pikachu, very nice, Purloin, and a Keldeo Hollow. And final pack for today, but do not worry, my friends. We have plenty more Shining Legends to come. Here we go. We have a an Electric Energy. Lily, Pokemon Breeder, which again is the full art card that you can get in this set. Um, Ultra Ball, uh, Scraggy, Cat, Plessel, Buizel, a Larvesta Reverse, and... <gasps> no! Are you kidding me? Oh my... <gasps> what? <laughs> what just happened? Guys! We just pulled the secret rare. There is one like actual like secret rare card in this set. This was the like one of the hardest cards to pull in the Japanese set. And we just pulled it. We just freaking pulled it. Look, this is a textured GX card. And it is the secret rare, the final card that was in the book. 78 out of 73. I think this is probably going to be the hardest card you can possibly pull in the set. And if you look at the top here, look, the top of the card has texture to it. This part right here, which is like really weird because like this part does not have texture and then this has texture and then this like pillar part has texture and then the actual top of the card, the shiny part has tech. That's so weird. This set is just freaking awesome. Are you kidding me? We just literally pulled the, the best card from the set out of a freaking elite trainer box. And in this very same elite trainer box, we pulled the secret rare Mew or the, not the secret, the shiny Mew card. I don't even know what to say. Like, I'm so incredibly happy right now. I don't even know how to, like, do a recap. Okay, so we pulled two Pikachus, which is already a major win. We pulled a Reverse Fairy Energy, a Keldeo, Latios, Manaphy, Virizion, Zekrom, Raikou, Keldeo again, Palkia, Shining Ho promo card. We also pulled the Shining Mew. And we pulled the freaking Secret Rare Mewtwo GX. <sighs> I'm, I'm, like, smiling ear to ear right now. What a box. What a box. Thank you guys so much for watching. I, I'm so happy that I, I get to share this with you guys. I can't wait to just read your comments about this because oh, I can't wait to see what you guys say. But anyways, thank you so much. Um, I'm so thankful that I get to experience these sets with you guys. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Don't ever be ashamed to be you because you are your own type of beautiful. Bye, guys.